Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and today we're going to be farming an extremely underappreciated but overpowered item in Sekiro. Most of you already know what I'm talking about, it is of course the Ceramic Shard. Now for those who don't, little known fact about this item, if you actually throw one at a boss just within 5 seconds of the encounter starting, it'll actually open up a death blow window and slam that boss into a wall. Not a lot of people know about this. This was also the case with the pebbles in Bloodborne, but that's what we're going to be farming today. Now, don't do this if you don't like cheesing the game, if you want to experience that real challenge. But for those of you suckers who are really struggling with Sekiro, you may want to farm out some of these ceramic shards to make the game just a little bit easier. So to farm out these bad boys, we're going to head down to the Maibu Village. Now, the mob density here is absolutely insane. There's about... I don't know, 100, 200 of these guys, the fuckers just keep popping out of the ground like there's no tomorrow. So, just gonna run back and forth, killing them over and over again until they eventually stop spawning. Watch out for these cheeky boys though, because they like feet. The good news about this run is that it only takes 10 minutes to clear, so you know it's efficient. So now that you've killed all 147 of the zombie fishmen, you're gonna pop a Maibu Balloon of Wealth and run back through, and as you can see, I got 21 ceramic shards from this run. That's enough for two full boss attempts. I can't wait to go try Lady Butterfly some more. Be sure to let me know down in those comments how many bosses you one shot with the ceramic shards. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you all here next time. Bye!